of this month. Well, I think if you want to go today or Sunday, you should be good. Probably not. Probably not tomorrow. We're still really keeping a close What's eye next? on tomorrow for a couple of reasons. But as you're out the door this morning, really only battling a few things. We've got some clouds. It's still going to be incredibly windy. It's also very warm outside. So that's the next system that we're keeping an eye on. It's still off to our west. Kind of dead center in the plains right now. Not seeing any rain yet associated with that. But as it progresses off to the east, it picks up some of that moisture. Clouds already out ahead of that. This is a live look in Metropolis this morning. A little bit of sunshine trying to peek through, but many of us still battling these clouds. And they're going to hang around for the better part of the next couple of days. So I hope you got a chance to enjoy that sunshine yesterday. Definitely still feeling those winds. Of course, the big things today, it's going to be windy. It's going to be warm. Temperatures right now somewhere in the 40s, even the 50s. And then it's also going to be very cloudy as we just saw in Metropolis. Gusts upwards to 30 miles per hour. Very similar to yesterday, but finally seeing a bit of a break with gusts back down into the teens as we head into the overnight hours. Today is going to feel very similar to yesterday, at least temperature wise. And wind wise, it is going to be pretty cloudy and we are tracking the chance for some isolated showers beginning very late this evening into the overnight portion. Into Saturday, still notice that threat tracker is up. We're really still paying attention Saturday afternoon and evening. Everyone's likely going to see some heavy rain, maybe even a couple of thunderstorms, but a few of us could see a couple of severe storms. So that's really where that focus and really paying attention is coming in. So by the time we get to Sunday, a couple of isolated showers will stick around. And then, of course, the big change behind this very large system, it's going to funnel in some of that cooler air. Of course, just in time for the end of the weekend. Winds very strong this morning, still steady out of the south. By the time we're dropping the kids off this morning, probably not even needing a rain jacket, maybe just a light jacket temperature somewhere in those upper 40s, hitting 50s by mid morning and into the afternoon. Clouds hang around. You can see a couple of those isolated chances of rain, but if you're going to be out tonight enjoying some of those holiday festivities, it's not going to feel like it, right? We're seeing all those upper 50s, low 60s, but rain shouldn't be a widespread issue. Few isolated showers, dodging raindrops into the overnight hours, waking up even early tomorrow, likely still not seeing a lot of that rain come through. We have low 60s, upper 50s. Then we see that first chance for some scattered showers. Still not our main focus, but this is mid morning. We could see, of course, those heavy pockets move through, maybe some storms. The real timing is going to be tomorrow afternoon into the late evening. So think about 1, 2 p.m. until about 7 p.m. Really the focus with this current model, of course, this could change. This is only one part of one model. We're seeing that heavy rain move through about five o'clock. And then you see those darker colors there. They usually indicate some strong winds and some large hail as that pushes through. So if this kind of organizes a bit more. Of course, we could see some severe weather. Storm Prediction Center outlook and is now currently kind of in this portion of the region. So we're talking western Kentucky, Tennessee, right where we see those storms kind of set up. And then all that heavy rain pushes off to our east. Those heavier and higher totals now also setting up to our east, kind of north of the Nashville area. We've got that marginal risk. This is for very late today, early Saturday, only for a handful of our southeastern Missouri counties. That's really not my big focus. It is there. We could see some strong winds. This is the bigger focus. This is into Saturday. We could see damaging winds, small hail, maybe a brief tornado. Really damaging winds is going to be the big threat. We can see that two out of five slight risk. And again, I want to preface by saying I understand what time of the year it is. I understand, especially with this area, we've got that storm anxiety. This is not that kind of setup that we saw two years ago. Okay, guys, so this is just that slight risk. We are still, of course, keeping an eye on that. So if you're in Hardin, you're in Murray, you're in Martin, all the way down to Abayan, if you're hearing any of those areas, really make sure you've got that storm track through app in case we do get maybe a severe thunderstorm morning or two on Saturday. I definitely think that's possible. There's those higher amounts near Clarksville and Nashville, but locally we could pick up an inch or two, which is going to be really helpful, especially if you live near river level. I know that you know that we're needing some of that rain, but there you go. So you can scan that storm track through app really handy this weekend. And the good news is by next week, we're not looking too bad. Fairly mild, fairly quiet. We're going to be warm with those upper 50s, or I should say upper 40s, low 50s. But again,